Hello. For this video, I'm wearing a hat and a tie. And if you ask me to take off the hat and the tie, I will say I would prefer not to. That is a very important line in this story that we're reading today called Bartleby the Scrivener by Herman Melville. Uh, its subtitle is um, A Story of Wall Street, and it's set right in the heart of the New York Financial District. The narrator is a businessman, lawyer, who's trying to run an operation there. We hear the story from his perspective. We learn a little bit about him. Then we learn about some of the employees that he's had before and um, the kind of uh, different ways in which they are you know, somewhat ineffective. But then he has this employee called Bartleby. And Bartleby is one of the most enigmatic characters in literature. He's extremely famous. And this line, I would prefer not to, is a kind of iconic line in literature because that's all that this character really says for the most part of the story. He has a few other lines. But with that line, with that piece of passive resistance, he kind of breaks the machinery of the capitalist, Wall Street, legal machinations that are going on. Uh, and then ultimately, he ends up, I won't tell you how he ends up, you'll have to read through to see what happens to him. And um, I want you to think about this character and what exactly is up with him. Uh, is he some kind of enlightened, intelligent being who is trying to disrupt a corrupt system? Or is he just a unfortunately mentally troubled man who is unable to deal with the realities of life, um, the difficult realities of life, or the not so difficult realities of life, just being expected to hold down a job? Uh, and what does it tell us about society to see the way that he ends up? What does it tell us about us what does it tell us about him uh, i want you to think about all those things when you're reading the story and then i want you also to pay close attention to the very end of the story there's a little tidbit of information that comes right about the end right at the very end we learn something about a previous job that he once had and it's obviously very important that melville the writer decided to include this piece of information right at the end it's meant to recast the way in which we understand the character of Bartleby, the Scrivener. So how does it do that? Um, what new way does it force us to think about this character? Does it, in fact, change the way that we think about him? Um, I want you to consider all these things when you're reading the story. Um, bring your own thoughts and ideas to it. The story is, of course, by Herman Melville, the famous American writer who wrote Moby Dick, is his most famous piece of writing. This was a short story that he published in his lifetime, and he was basically pretty much unknown. He was, you know, he'd sold a few books and people had heard of him, but by the time he was an older man, uh, people, when he passed away, were surprised to read his obituary because they didn't even know that he was alive anymore. So he lived a lot of his life in obscurity, the writer did. Uh, so that's another thing to think about when you're reading the story. Is, um, is he commenting on his own place in the world to some extent? Um, and again, when you read that very last passage, I don't want to give it away, but uh, think about the implications of that in terms of the literary world uh, and the world in which Melville was operating, in which he was trying to send out stories into the world, trying to be heard and not being heard. Uh, so that's something you can think about as well when you reflect on the story. Bring your own thoughts and ideas to it. I look forward to reading them. Thank you.